Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup is going to be a kind of like date night, date day makeup look. It is so hot in here and I can't have the fan on because then you won't hear me and I can't open the windows because you won't hear me. So I am kind of suffering a little tiny bit. So I'm going to try not to go on for too long because I don't want to sweat it all off. But yeah, I went on a date last night and wore this makeup and really enjoyed creating the makeup look. So I thought I would recreate it and show you lots then you can wear it on a date or if you haven't got a date or don't want to date and just want to try it out, you can do. So without further ado, let's get going. First I'm going to prime with the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I find this best if you press it in rather than wipe and it is a little bit tacky but you just got to work with it. I actually really like this primer. I was going to say foundation. The primer, just dot it on your face and then you can tap away. Then whilst that's kind of settling into my skin, I'm just going to be using, using my brows, doing my brows with the Anastasia dip pencil, dip brow pencil, brow pencil, brow, brow whiz, brow whiz, um, I think this is dark brown, I've used it that much, the writing has all come off, so, yeah, I'm going to go for quite a, not a light brow, but kind of like a, a softer brow. I always struggle to do this brow because this part here is so much more sparse than this one. So I kind of have to like match it up, but it never goes right. And I kind of feel like it's just the start of a uni brow. Then I'm just going to set them in place with my Benefit Gimme Brow in 3, number 3. Itchy notes. Now is my favourite part, which is the eyes, so I'm going to zoom you in as much as I can. I am going to be priming, I am going to be priming my eyes with the MAC Painterly paint pot and then setting that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I find as well that this part it's best if you use a eyeshadow brush rather than like a big powdered face brush because when I'm you look you're like dabbing the brush on the powder sometimes goes under your eye and I find that when and then you'll put concealer on thinking that there's no powder underneath your eye but there actually is and then it'll kind of look cakey and crease so I can't I prefer to set it with an eyebrow brush trial and error kids trial and error now I've set my eyes uh, now is the holy grail product oh is this if you've been watching my videos you know how much i love huda beauty makeup the lips the lash the lashes <gasps> and the uh eyeshadow palettes the big ones so when i got my hands on this i was very very excited it's only small um i bought i actually got this when i did my cult beauty haul um for their 10th birthday so i'm gonna leave the link to that video below but this is what it looks like it's just heaven, absolute heaven. So I'm going to be doing a eye look, just creating, you creating, just using this palette. But there aren't any names to these, which is quite sad. I don't think that there is. No. So I'm just going to be pointing. But 
For the crease, I'm going to be using a mixture of this light shade here and the middle shade. Kind of as like a base, but in the crease and above. Then I'm going to be taking more of like a defined pointy brush and take this shade right here and go into the crease. So this is the brush I used last night and I haven't washed it so I kind of have like the colours that I wanted to build up now in my crease but never mind, still going to go through it with you. Then to kind of like deepen up the look a bit more I'm going to be taking this corner shade here and this corner shade here and mixing them together. And then also going like in the crease. Ooh, child. Just diffuse the colour a bit. Then I have found um like pigments and kind of like foiled shimmery shadows from Huda Beauty work best if you use your fingers. So I'm going to be taking this, oh, just, luckily it was the cream shade, so it's fine. Um, I'm going to be taking this shade, which is such a beautiful kind of pinky, champagne-y, goldy shimmer, and just put that on the lid. Look at that. Ooh. And this is why I do this before um, I do my foundation now because you do get a little bit of fallout, not like a crazy amount but you do get a little tiny bit so I'd prefer just to work this in and then do foundation after. Beautiful. Just going to go back in and see what looks best if I'm honest. To be honest, it's honestly completely up to you if you wanted it more of like a brownie smoky eye rather than a pinky ready purple. So I am not a happy bunny. Um, as Because my SD card was kind of like overheating so I had to take it out and stuff and I thought, oh okay, then I'll just put my lashes on and do some mascara and whatever because you don't really need to see that because it's just boring. So I put my mascara on, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I was going to use the Dollhouse, is it called the Dollhouse Lashes, lashes or is it just the Doll Lashes? Um, lashes in this doll. Lulu, I love these. These are probably one of my favourite styles of lashes from this brand. Um, I will try and leave their website or something or Instagram or whatever below so you can see all the different styles. They are ridiculously cheap. They are £10 for every lash, considering like... Lily lashes and Huda Beauty lashes are expensive. These are like a good dupe, I'd say. Um, and as I was peeling off the old glue to put them on my eyelashes, I ripped one in half. I'm trying not to cry because I've just done my eye makeup. So I'm going to skip lashes today, which I kind of feel is like a blessing in disguise because it is hot AF and that's just too much. So I'm going to have to grab myself a new pair sometime soon. So yeah, we're just going to go with mascara today and a little bit of line art maybe, I think so. The liner that I'm, I'm not going to do like a winged because you know I can't do that. Um, and originally it was just so I could hide like, the lash band, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Or do I? No, stuff it because I don't want to ruin my eyes even more. So let's get on to the face, and hopefully, my primer has all sunk into my pores. And yes, 
I know this shade is way too dark for me. So, yeah. It, it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation in 01 Creamy Vanilla. It is a tad bit too warm, but we're going to roll with it because this is what I wore yesterday. Well, that sounded beautiful, didn't it? Don't need to bend that. too bad. Then as always to get rid of my under eye bags I'm using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye in Light. instantly awake oh yeah I remember when this came out and everybody was using the a nude one or a warm one or something and I used it on my skin and it was just too yellow it's kind of like the NARS radiant creamy concealer everybody was raving about the shade custard so I thought that'll suit me no way way too yellow um, I'm going to be using now the Too Faced Concealer. What are you actually called? Born This Way. Just to kind of like highlight my face. And this is the shade Very Fair. Then, stupidly, last night I thought, oh no, I'm going to bake. Because I don't normally bake at all, because part of me doesn't really know how to. But I thought I'd give it a go. So I got my uh, damp beauty blender and used the NYX, is it Studio Powder? The white one that's like loose. So I tip it to my lid and got it on the beauty blender. I thought, yeah, I could do that. Pressed it in. Nothing. Absolutely. It already sunk into my skin. And I was like, oh. And then... Because I'd bought myself um, one of those ring light things you can get for your phone that you clip on and when you're taking a selfie it looks nice. Um, by the way, I posted a selfie uh, last night. So if you want to go check my Snapchat out, the picture should still be up there. But yeah. Um, and when I was taking the selfie, the white cast was ridiculous. Like, literally all here was pure white. And I was like... Right. Luckily, I didn't have any pictures took last night, so it was all good. But I did use this on the rest of my face, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent. I was going to say translucent. Transparent. Zero, zero, 001. I kind of feel like my chin's darker than the rest of my face, but it's not. It's just because it's my mirror. There we go. Why well, don't I just figure that out now? I don't know, guys, we're in a different setting today because I have a fan on my here, normally where my mirror goes for when I'm like doing my makeup in general and filming but because it is a scorcher at night I can't sleep so I have to have my fan on and I couldn't be bothered to move it, I'm not going to lie so I thought, oh no, different setting but I'm kind of liking it. But now I don't know how to put my mirror with it. My chin looking dark. <laughs> hmm. Next to bronze slash contour. Bronto. Um, I'm going to be using the. Jouer. Uh, oh, I don't know. Light to medium duo. I don't really know what it's called. But in the shade sunlight and sun. Tan. Oh no no no! There we go. Just to bronze and contour. I use a mixture of both. Oh no, thank you. Then 
Then to highlight, I am using Becca Jacqueline Hill Champagne Pop. No surprise there. I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I'm not going to be using blush because I didn't use any last night because I forgot. Hmm. No, I genuinely think you can't. Well, you can. You can do it. Um, people of all, all the time do it, but I, for me, can't do a makeup look without doing putting eyeshadow underneath my eye. I kind of just feel like it's not a complete makeup look. People can do it. I don't care. So I am just going to be taking a mixture of this shade here and this shade here and just running that underneath my eye. See, look, look at that. Mm -hmm. I just think it pulls it all together to be honest. Bottom lash mascara. Not too much though because it will go everywhere. And last but not least, lips. I am going to be lining my lips <laughs> um, with Pillow Talk Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, you know what? I am going to be using this little mirror because I can. Then I am using my MAC lipstick in the shade Frost, which, I mean not Frost, Angel, which is a Frost one, but I'm going to be kind of like the black, look, not black, dabbing it on instead of swiping because I like, I like the pigment but I don't want too much pigment. Then to top it all off, I actually got this yesterday, I bought it from Ace, or was it yesterday? No, the day after. Um, oh, it's a bit of fluff. Um, yeah, I got this, bought this from ASOS and I've been eyeing it up for months and months and months and I don't know why but I've only just got it. Um, it is the Pixie Lip Icing in the shade Cake which is in collaboration with Chloe Morello. I love Chloe Morello so much. I will leave her YouTube channel below because she's funny and she's beautiful so and very creative i like i like i like her channel um but the first thing i noticed when i opened this it smells like terry's chocolate orange like i uh, i really really want terry's chocolate orange now oh no Mm. Um, yeah, I was a bit intimidated because I don't know if you can see or not, but it's kind of like gold-ish and she'd posted a picture up on Instagram of her wearing this and I thought that looks so natural and so like beautiful, but then like, when, I, when it came I was like, this is gold, hmm, but then when I did, I put, wore it last night obviously because this is inspired from last night. It is just the the most gorgeous, subtle shine. Like you can wear this without lipstick, on top of lipstick, which is what I'm going to be doing now. But just, just watch.
this is everything and more that I've ever wanted in a lip gloss like and it's even prettier when like the sun hits it because obviously they've got the, the gold in it different reef oh my god I am crushing so hard on this if I did favourites that's just too much commitment now but if I did favourites like monthly favourites this would be a monthly favourite and obviously you would use makeup setting spray but it's all the way over there and I'm the way all the way over here you know but I did use the Urban Decay D Slick Oil setting spray because I didn't want to look greasy or shiny or anything um I was a little bit towards the end of the night but I think a little powder can't fix and that is the makeup tutorial done I kind of really wish that I hadn't ripped my lashes because now I'm paired out and now I'm going to have to go out to get them. But actually I only ripped the one, which you'll see. <laughs> I'll show you what they looked like. They're just very fluttery. Well obviously that one's not anymore. But like they're so fluttery and just wispy and... R.I.P. Yeah, I got mine from Topshop, so you can get them from there. I don't know if they do them online. I'll leave Topshop's website below just in case they do. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!